What's up, everybody? John Alberto here. Today, we are going through the new patch notes on September 24th. Um, let's see what they cooked up for us. Let's go through game, stability, and performance. Fixes various issues. Crash could occur. Nice. Out of sync games. Nice, nice, nice. Fix a bug causing particle effects. Shadow to appear darker. Okay, nice. Fimbo one serve VFX no longer spawns and I'll add neutral TCs. Did they fix the one? Did they fix the problem with uh, the uh, what's it called? The God power for Freyr that would literally crash games. Hopefully they did. That that was really annoying. The frame rate would just die. My improvements the audio unit voice is not controlled by the speech on a speech volume options instead of the general sound options. This is interesting. You can lower the unit voices. I wonder if you can even turn them off. I don't think you'd want to do that though. Game pause text is now displayed in the HUD when the game is paused. That's nice. Sometimes I don't even know if the uh the game was paused. Resource storage now properly refreshed. The new visible option is added to map visibility. Observer delay. Faster updates. This is this is an interesting one. Spectate live is now shown the UI. That's cool. I can like see how long the game or like how, how many minutes I'm behind. Spectators are now shown as a, sh a new sortable column in the Browns browse games lobby. What does that mean? I don't even know what this means. Quick match rank match will now show with player names in the match side on the Browns games lobby. Add a new filter to the Browns game. Okay, pre queue hotkeys have been added. Ooh, pre queue hotkeys have been added. That's a good one. I'm gonna I'm gonna add that right away. Find and select Mythian hotkeys entries added. That's good too. Yes, yes, yes. Thank God, the scout of the Kataskapos is no longer selected with the select all military hotkey. Thank God, bro. That's so nice. That's gonna help my scouting so much. Added a hockey to select a hero and cycle between heroes without snapping the camera. Okay. Added alternative hockey for some economic villain to show all cultures with the same set of hockeys. Added a hockey to show the tech tree. Interesting. Okay, I don't know what that means. We don't care about controller. Researching to the Titans before or after building a wonder no longer results in different cost cooldown values. Don't even. Okay. <laughs> Wonder Age no longer causes Asgardian Bastion to become free. That's funny. That's a big bug. <laughs> you can only just spam out Asgardian Bastions before. Domination. Oh, this is bad. Calculated correctly when pre queued. It wasn't calculated correctly before. That's interesting. Oh my god, bro. Why'd you take this out? No one uses Son of Osiris. No one does. Why'd you nerf it? That's so frustrating, man. That's already a big nerf to Raw. Like, that's a nerf to Raw. Oh my god, dude. Oh my goodness. No one, dude, if you go into ranked games, no one goes Son of Osiris. I'm frustrated right now with the balance team, to be honest. They're they're uh they're trolling a little bit here. Son of Osiris should be healed when in a in a building, dude. It's slowly though, like it's fine. That's really lame. No one uses Son of Osiris. It's the least picked mythic god. No one uses him, bro. It's already worthless. Fix the gov were Zeus's favorite gather bonus. 
and golden apples effect were incorrectly generating more favor than intended, especially with many villagers praying. Okay. So Zeus and uh, the rest of the Greek are getting a huge nerf on their favor gather rate because it just they were getting way too much. So that's going to be good. Greek are going to be nerfed a little bit. Uh, fix a bug causing enabling disabled units triggers. Okay. Landon's name. Okay, I don't care. Fix a bug allowing many classes to overlap when using the healing ability. Okay. Caravans will now recalculate their carried resources when tasked to perform trading on another town center. Okay, that's kind of a nerf to caravans, I guess. Target armor and damage bonuses no longer persist to all units affect affected by area persistent damage. What does this even mean? Target. So this is a nerf by Centaur. Target armor and damage bonuses no longer persist to all units affected by area persistent damage. This is like worded terribly, but I'm assuming this is like a slight buff to Centaur's uh, area of effect. Fix bug. Okay. Campaign. I don't really care. Docs address the following issue. Can now tar par properly target sea snakes. Okay, that's nice. And water carnivores. Nice. Fix a bug where docs incorrectly show two projectiles in the HUD. Where they fire one. Okay, we don't really care about this. All Pantheon changes. Favor rate formula. Greeks now earn less favor when praying with larger number of no numbers of vills. This effect was already present, but has been made more pronounced. Below are some examples of a new rate at different amounts of villagers. Does it matter per temple? I don't think it does. One villager, no change in favor grade. Five villagers, minus 4.6. 25, minus 17.6%. Okay. I mean, that's nice, I guess. I don't think it matters. It, like, even if they're spread out on different temples, it's the same, I'm assuming. Son of Osiris is meta on Raw alongside Camel Buff. Yeah. Uh, great. No more 50 bills on Temple and Spamming Curse and Pestilence. Yep. All right. Let's go over Poseidon. Please. We need some big we need some big nerfs on Poseidon. Let's see what they cooked up for us. Fix a bug where it was unable to research granary upgrades. Okay, so that's an, actually a buff for Poseidon. This is a buff. This is a slight nerf. They increase centaur favor cost by two. That's the nerf to centaurs. And reduce damage to heroes. Are they trolling right now? Are they? Dude, Poseidon got nerfed. Or Poseidon got buffed. This is a buff overall. Well, I'm playing Poseidon, boys. Poseidon got buffed. He already was dominating the ladder. This is a buff. This is a slight nerf. Slight nerf. Slight nerf. Two favor more for Centaur. Who cares? Heroes are now trained faster. And heroes in the first age now do more damage. This is, this is the biggest change right here so far. Um, archaic age heroes. Five seconds now instead of 15. Bonus for so archaic age heroes are way better now. Their hit points are reduced a little bit though. Berry bushes now gather fat. Whatever, dude, you, you, you're 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 screwing raw right now, man. Like raw is still a laughing stock of the whole game, but whatever. Um, they made flood of the Nile three favor more. Wow. Heal rate. Okay, they decreased the heal rate improvement from 100% to 15% or 50%. Nerf slingers. Okay, they nerfed Plague of Serpents again, which is nice. These things were so annoying. Locust Swarm is now water, making possible damage more units. Okay, so that's that's decent. They buff Pastuchos, buff Scarabs.
They made they made the monuments more expensive. A hundred gold, a hundred food. Dude, raw is like even worse now. Like you can't even get monuments. I don't get it, bro. Whatever. Um, let's keep going. Norse Pantheon. Convert village to berserk. Cost increased from 30 gold to 20. Okay. This is a big nerf, actually. 20 more food to convert villager to berserk. Dwarf, 30 food, 10 gold. Yeah, this is a big nerf. So you can't convert as easily anymore. Odin. Let's see what they did to Odin. Let's see if they actually buffed him for some reason, like they buffed Poseidon. Um, great hunt, maximum food created in Archaic Age, reduced from 800 to 600. Okay, that's a slight nerf. Line of Sight, the Raven got nerfed. Line of Sight reduced from 20 to 10, but now also gains plus four of Line of Sight per age up. Okay, so... I mean, it's fine still. It gets plus four every single age. It's still going to be good, but that is this is definitely a nerf a little bit. Okay, we saw this earlier. Convert Villagers Dwarf to Berserk is no longer free. That's a huge nerf to Loki. Especially those like timing attacks of the Berserks. Huge nerf. Cost 50% less, but now no longer free, so that's a huge nerf. Vidar Fur Fur Fury of the Fallen. Now indicates affected units of the VF VFX. Okay. Atlantean Pantheon starting would increase from 200 to 250. Okay, so Atlantean got buffed actually just by starting with 50 more resources. This is going to change a lot of build orders now. Atlantean is going to be completely different. 50 more wood right away. That changes a lot. That changed a lot of things, actually. Uh, let's keep her going. Got some buffs for Gaia. Wow, they buffed Gaia, but they didn't buff Raw. The worst guy in the game. Raw is below Gaia. Nice. Economic guild upgrades. Cost reduction increased from 30, minus 35% to 40%. That's nice. Gaia now also reduces the building cost by minus 40% as well. That's super nice. Economic guilds are super cheap now. You can like spam them out. Maximum radius increased from 20 to 24. That's pretty significant. The water carnivore has been adjusted as follows. Fix an issue where it occasionally kills ships instantly. I thought that was on purpose. I thought that was like it's special. Um, 20 to 30. 20 to 30. Okay, so they buffed the water, water carnivore other than that bug. They nerfed Prometheans. Promethean and Promethean offspring hit points improvements decrease from 30 plus 30 percent to plus 20. That's a nerf. Poseidon's secret technology now also reduces the cost of heroizing calorie units. Okay, that's nice. Now also spawns two giants each time it is cast. Okay. Heroic renewal. Now also gives plus 10% hit points to heroes. That's a huge, that's a good upgrade now. So not only the the, the units regenerate health, the heroes regenerate health, they get plus 10% hit points for heroes. That's huge. I'm going to get that upgrade. Cost increased from 50 to 60. Cooldown increased from 150 to 180. So chaos got nerfed a little bit. And then spider lair got buffed. Cooldown reduced from 120 to 90 seconds. Units are now sucked. Oh, implode got buffed. This is a huge one. Implode is actually viable now. Units are now sucked in faster, so you can't just run away from it in like two seconds. Okay, so implode got buffed. Oh, they uh, nerfed Prometheans. That's a big nerf to uh, that's a big nerf to Kronos actually, because Kronos loves spamming spamming those guys out. And Aranos, I guess, but 75 food. Now it's 90 food, so 15, 15 food increase. I don't really know what this does exactly. It just changes how the Lampades work. Damage changed from 24 Pierce to and 20 Crush to 24 Pierce, 20 Divine. Okay, attack range increased. This looks like a buff overall. I think Divine is better than Crush. Crush damage, because Divine is like true damage. Ooh, huge one. Atlantean Heroes. Bonus damage versus myth units increased. Arcus. Movement speed increased from 3.75 to 4. Nice. 
Oracle. Heroes are no longer found selected with the find select hero hotkeys. Okay. Holy crap. Cost decreased from 80 wood and 15 gold to 50 wood, 15 gold. Therefore, the new cost for Gaia is 30 wood, 90 gold. Lush go burr. Bro, that, they could spam that everywhere. <laughs> Hit points for manners increase from 500 to 800. That's huge. That's a huge buffer. Dude, Atlantean is getting buffed hard right now. Even though Raw has the worst. Dude, I'm tilted. I'm tilted. Where's the buff for Raw patch, man? Come on. What is this? Raw still sucks. Okay, UR mods are now treated as safe for multiplayer, including ranked quick play. Okay, nice. So now you can do bottom left mod. Uh, for resources, this is a huge one for everyone wants their, that wants resources bottom left. So now you can put that um, that mod, and that's really nice. Fix bug causing mods not to install it correctly. Okay, FOV for mod. Okay, whatever. Fixing it. Okay, ongoing. All right. Well, that's it. That's everything. I don't think we missed anything, right? Well, the big key takeaway from all of this is that ISIS got nerfed a little bit. Raw got the littlest buff ever, and also nerfs, because that nerf where you can't heal the son of Osiris anymore sucks. I thought that was intended. It really isn't that strong. Like, you put it, you put them in a Migdol, and it, like, slowly increases over, like, forever. And then, basically, what you're doing is now the son of Osiris is idle. So, it's not even empowering. I think that's completely fine. That should just be a part of the game. This is a huge change as well. 15 to 5 seconds for Jason and uh, Ajax and Theseus. That's, that's huge. Um... I don't get Poseidon. Poseidon is even better. Poseidon is literally even better now. This is this is a big buff in my opinion. That's 10% is not nothing for Thracian horses. Why'd you buff Poseidon, bro? I don't know, man. They nerfed Greek's uh, favor rate, though. So that's huge, I guess. And a little bit more expensive for Centaur, but two favor is like kind of a joke. Two favor increase. Well, uh, Raw still sucks. This is like, how they, like every single patch is like doing like one little thing. Like, why can't they do a bunch of things? Right now, it's just Raw is so unplayable. Really frustrating. Whatever. All right. Odin got nerfed a little bit too, but not by much. Yeah. The key takeaway overall is just that Atlantean got buffed big time. Atlantean got buffed big time with this patch, bro. A lot of different buffs. Heroes especially got buffed super hard for Atlantean. I think they were having a hard time dealing with myth unit spam, but now, now Atlantean seems to be able to crap on myth units, so that's going to be interesting. All right, well, that's about it. Devs are raw hate watchers, probably. Raw is very replayable. You're just skill gapped. Uros, it has the worst win rate in the whole game by far. All right, well, whatever. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please consider subscribing. It means a lot. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.